All right, everybody, welcome to Breezy Against the Machine, the show where we go through all the pre constructed Deviant Factions decks and we battle it out and we talk strategy and we win. We really, really do win here, man. So today, we're going to get started here with the Tech Blitz. Tech Blitz pre constructed deck. It's a really, really nice one here. Whenever an ally dies, any entropy tech is gonna get plus one resistance. That's for sure, for sure gonna help us out here because it's got technology cards like this one right here. Retirement plan gonna be coming to the stage at some point in time during the game here. It's automated, the user automatically is gonna get plus 60 attack. That's amazing. And whenever it's struck, it's gonna deal 120 damage to the rival. Now, because of that struck, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna try to use it as more of a later technology card, something that should we get in a position where the opponent is leading us, we can go ahead and use this card here to ensure that our HQ doesn't take any damage. Retirement plan is an excellent card right here. Now, Ryder Dallas, this is the guy that we're gonna be looking for here to get into our anchor spot here. Ryder Dallas has a toughness of 10. Pretty high HP as well, 241 with an attack at 85. This guy's an absolute monster. But the reason why we want him in the anchor spot here is because when rightmost male allies, they're gonna get plus 29 attack and leftmost entropy allies are also gonna get 29 attack. So, good thing, if we have them in the anchor spot, in the other males, plus 29 attack is fantastic. We got a whole deck full of males and then even if we don't get them in that anchor spot, other leftmost entropy allies are gonna still get plus 21, so he could be a good guy to put in, say if we're trying to lead our opponent here, he's gonna give plus 29 to the rest of our team. And then another big one here is gonna be Darkling Rover. Darkling Rover, when you use this one, the user's gonna get toughness of 16 and plus eight X, the amount of entropy that are on the field. That is absolutely amazing. I think this is an excellent card to pair with our anchor spot here. So we're gonna get right into the game here. I think we got a pretty good strategy going in. Fresh off the bat, we got a deal in the series. We got bull spikes, excellent card here. Whenever it drops, it's gonna deal 65 damage to the rival. And you're gonna hit the tech once when that happens. Whenever it's struck, it also it's gonna deal 60 damage. We're gonna go ahead and keep that here. Now, a little bit of an accident while I was explaining here that we had to get going here. So we dropped Hendrickson off in the first row. He's got HP of 220, got an attack of 77. He's gonna get 15 attack for each male foe on the ground. So that's amazing. And whenever he's loyal to the HQ, he's gonna get 18X the entropy HP as well. So that's fantastic. We got a bunch of entropy going down here. Whenever there's three non-binary for this Breeze card, they can get plus four plus 10 X, however many binaries, okay. If the person's loyal, then the rival is gonna again. It's gonna the rival is one of the reds here. It's gonna frighten them as well. Okay, checking out this technology car really quick, trying to see what this, trying to see what's going on with this one. As long as the user is female, she's gonna get plus thirty-five attack here, and whenever it's picked up, the user gets frightened. Okay, okay. Just. We're gonna throw out our rover here. Remember, that's gonna give us toughness. It's gonna give us that huge toughness that we'd like. Now, if I were them, if I was the computer, I would've threw out their technology. A Little bit later on in the game here, reason being is just because, well, they frightened my guy whenever I did the pickup, but he's just gonna move straight on back. So it's perfectly fine here. We're looking good. Next, we're gonna pull out Namanaki Yuki here, whenever they, they get gripped, they get a toughness of 12. That's absolutely amazing. Also, whenever N Namanaki Yuki is loyal, the rival's gonna get minus 55 HP as well. That's absolutely fantastic. Throw this guy on out here. Let's see what our computer does. Now remember, he's gonna get for every single entropy we throw out, he's gonna increase his HP. We're looking good here. Opponent threw out Tadashi here, and he left most female ally. He's gonna get plus 62 attack. Oh my god. Um, if they're armed during the fight step, they're gonna get plus five extra for every female attack. And then it's also gonna hit the assigned tech. So that's pretty that's pretty 
fucking crazy. We're just looking real good here. Just through our Dr. Lee Park. Dr. Lee's Park base attack is equal to her, her rivals. Okay, we're going to have to keep that in mind. We're going to save that retirement plan. Remember, we're going to keep the retirement plan. Keep this retirement plan for this third slot right here. First fight. First fight didn't go so well here. It's looking it's looking kind of iffy here because this one, because their Breeze has 177 attack, 252 HP on this one. I do have a, a smooth 124 here with Hendrickson, but holy crap. That is going to be a hard one to stop right here. So I'm going to throw out Ryder Dallas. Remember, other left most allies, they're going to get plus 29 attacks. I believe Park's attack is also going to go up as well to meet that 85. Computers decided to keep taking the lead here throughout Lexi. We're going to see the way this fight step goes. It's not going to be looking too good. Probably going to end up losing my anchor spot here. He will be losing the the person he's got right here. He will be have, he will be losing to Dashi on this. One. Looks like he just lost Doctor. You just locked Dr. Lee and we lost our anchor. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. A little bit of a nail body here. Remember, whenever an ally dies, our entropy tech is going to get plus one. So that's absolutely fantastic. We're going to throw out Al Hefe's here. We're not going to throw out our retirement plan just yet. I'd rather get a player onto the board here. Blast attack type. You hit in front of him and to the right. Anchor spot's gone. But their anchor's down to 21 hit points, and their second card's down to 98. So we're still looking good. Still looking good. Oh, that switch just kind of screwed us here. The excellent switch. HQ is taking some damage here. Looking at the board here, it's looking like the person in their anchor spot, they'll be going down the next turn, but so will mine for sure. We're going to throw our retirement plan here. We're going to get that plus one now. That's excellent for retirement plan. On its struck retirement plan, they're dead now. Absolutely fantastic. It's not looking very good here, guys. It's looking like we're gonna go down here. You might get a draw here. No, uh, no draw. This one's gonna take him out. You got a draw. Sometimes you gotta play for the draw. <laughs> well, everyone, thank you so much for tuning into another special episode of Breathing Against the Machine. Uh, unfortunately, I really think I made a mistake um, mid and midway through the game, unfortunately, um, and also the, the 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 and also the computers deck that they built only have one technology card now. Now decks that are built like that, they're really really they're gonna make it tough for you to keep the lead, and when they take the lead, they're gonna keep that lead for sure. 
and then they made sure that they did. Now, it was a good thing. Now, it was a good strategy to use retirement plan in the third spot. That way, it kind of protected us there. And that was actually the main reason why we were able to get that draw. So very, very happy that we made that decision here. But again, thank you folks so much for watching Grieving Against the Machine. Make sure you check out the next episode. Make sure you're following Deviant's Factions on Twitter. Make sure you're in our Discord. And make sure you're getting that alpha.